Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Again, something a little different and possibly part one of who knows how many parts, but it is a project on its own. Here is the inspiration. The first one is a little fakey Takara pony or Japanese My Little Pony. And the second is Cha Cha the Lama, a non-pony pony from the My Little Pony Friends. So both of these creatures are quite difficult to find. They are highly collectible, even though the first one is a bootleg. <laughs> But there aren't too many of them, and especially not in good condition. This one you're seeing here was actually restored here in the channel uh, a couple of years ago. But let me explain what we'll do today. These two figures are very cute, but there is one way to make them even cuter, and that's to make them smaller. <laughs> so small, in fact, that you can wear them as earrings or charms. And the first thing we'll need to do to achieve this fantastic goal <laughs> is to scan these figures so I get an accurate 3D model, because I don't trust my own ability to create this in Blender. <laughs> Luckily, there are phone apps you can use to do this. So first I prepared a base. So ideally what you want to do is walk around the whatever you want to scan, but I don't have the space in the house. So instead I thought, well, it might be okay to have a rotating base and then leave the camera in the same place. I did this while my brother was visiting, so I had some extra help. You know how I like having guests in the videos and making people work for me. And basically what we did was use this rotating little base that came with my Elegoo printer. We had a ring light, so we'll always get uniform light from the front. And we put the camera inside the light and had a nice family time. Then I did the same with uh, Chacha de Lama. I had to cover the hair because if you have anything moving while you're scanning, the results are not very good. And in this case, I was able to use uh, the guest room, which was empty after my brother left. And I actually took pictures by moving around the figure. And here you can see what it looks like inside the app that I used, which is called uh, Kiwi Engine. This is the first time I used the program, so I can't really compare with anything else, but it seemed to work really well for me. I have the pro version, so it takes less time to upload and process. But of course, using a chip phone is not the same as having a fancy 3D scanner <laughs> dreams. So you have to do a lot of post processing and that's what we're going to do next in Blender. This is what the little fakey Takara looks like in Blender. Um, as you can see, it turned some of the texture of the paint into actual sculpted parts. But to be honest, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, uh, not as bad as Chacha will be <laughs> when we come to that. But when I was working on my other uh, 3D printing videos, a couple of you mentioned that you would like to see me try the sculpting tools, which I had never tried actually. So there was a, a little learning curve there, but they're amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy I tried them because this completely changed well, my world, the, the potential for the things I can do with the phone and the blender and the 3D printer. The tool I used the most, especially for this model, was just a smooth tool, uh, changing the sharpness or the intensity and the size of the brush. And that worked quite well. There were just a couple of places where I had to add a little more um, volume or take away some because the detail wasn't great and the bottom of the pony wasn't really scanned. So the geometry was kind of made up. <laughs> But after um, some work and some retouching, I was quite happy with the result, which is this one. But then, huh, then came Chacha de Lama. And that was quite a step up <laughs> in complexity. First, because the legs had merged together and the hair was there when it shouldn't be. And of course, all the detail was gone. <laughs> so the first thing I did was remove the extra bits and then I had to figure out a way to close this mesh because as I said before, I'm not very good with Blender, but I'm learning. For those watching that are, I'm so sorry, <laughs> uh, baby steps. This is what the llama looked like after removing the extra bits. And this is my poor attempt at the healing <laughs> the holes. So next is a lot of sculpting. So I will leave you with some music and I will see you for the next section, which is 3D printing and painting and creating the jewelry. So. Hope you enjoy. See you soon.
so it's time to prepare our figures for 3D printing. And there are a couple of things I wanted to mention for these next steps. First of all, you'll find a list of all the software and all the tools I used in the description and uh, links to like the printer and the resins and stuff like that. More importantly though, I have some good news for patrons and those considering to join the patron. If you join on the second tier, so twice as fancy, which is the name that comes from the ponies by the way, uh, then you will have access to all the 3D models I use in the videos and possibly more. For the moment, you will find the little Takara pony and the little llama. In this case, these two are designed to be printed quite small. They don't have all the detail that I would like for bigger figures, for like replicas and stuff. But I do plan on working on those two. And if you join the Patreon, you'll have access to all of the past, present and future 3D models for free as long as you are tier two or more. The models will also usually be up for sale. I think I will upload into cults. But if you join the Patreon, you will actually be paying for the price of one model and get access to, well, for the moment too, but probably many more. <laughs> and now it's time to demold and cure. As you saw in the previous section, I added some little holes so it will be easier to put the, um, the earring pieces in the miniature pieces. They were a bit too small, but at least you could see them and they let me know where I was supposed to like screw them in, which we will do soon. We just need to put this in alcohol to clean some of the leftover resin. And this time, instead of curing them first and then making holes, I'm going to do this while the resin is still fresh in a way, this is not the term, but I hope you know what I mean, because this way it will be softer, a little softer. Because once it cures, I am scared that making holes into the minis could break them. And I think this was a good idea, but you have to be careful if you do this and make sure that you are wearing gloves and a mask. And also work in a well-ventilated area, even though these fumes are not excessive still. It's always a good idea to be careful around 3D prints and resin. In any case, now it's time to create the earrings. I bought this little set that has a bunch of rings and pins and things that I'm very excited to use. I also borrowed from John a miniature screwdriver or a screwdriver for minis, for Warhammer minis and other things like that. And it was such a good idea. It was such a difference compared to other techniques I used off camera. <laughs> So let's do that and I'll see you again for painting. Thank you. 
now it's painting time and I'm going to be using acrylic paints. My beloved <laughs> Vallejo, um, I read some comments that people were very happy with the paint they bought. I love this paint. I'm not sponsored by Vallejo. I don't think they do sponsorships. But hey, if you are listening to this video, please reach out to me. I would love to try even more of your paint. But anyway, I'm going to do many thin layers uh, to get a smooth result. And then I'm going to varnish everything with a glossy varnish. Mostly because I want these earrings to be a bit shiny and to reflect the light, at least in some way. I don't know. I just like the <laughs> glossy varnish. And I'm going to use colors that are inspired by the actual ponies, but not exactly the same. You will see in the results that... Um, Cha Cha the Llama is more blue uh, in the earrings than the actual Llama. And then we're going to paint the little eyes and the nose for the Dakaras and the tiny decorations for the Llama. And yes, by this point you have probably guessed or seen <laughs> that these ponies have no hair. And this is why I said that this is video one of a series of videos, because I actually forgot to add the hair to the 3D models, but by this point I had done so much work already, so um, there will be a part two, and in part two I'm going to add hair to the earrings, uh, printed hair probably, and we will try different models, so let me know if you actually enjoy this type of video, because it's a bit different again from what I have done before. But anyway, uh, let's finish this part and I will see you for the results.
and here are our finished earrings version 1.0 <laughs> hairless ponies and pony friends here is a chacha de llama with the tiny dots and then we have our little takarita or mini takara pony um, fakey bootleg <laughs> takarita I think as a shape this one works better than the other one like the weight seems to work better for an earring but I'm very happy with all of my results I was hoping I could make lots of pairs and maybe give them away or put them up for sale but I haven't been able to do it yet we can maybe do it for the next video and that is it for today Please remember that if you join the Patreon in the second tier, you will have access to these 3D models and future ones too, for personal use, just a note. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this new project and I will see you in the next one. Have a great week. Thank you so much for watching again. Bye bye.